We have Siddharth Prohit from Angel Broking. Uh, Siddharth, uh, this is going to be an entirely, uh, this is going to be a total debt transfer as far as the deal is concerned. And there are a few aspects uh, of the deal which have been tweaked in this final announcement. Uh, we did speak exclusively some time back uh, to the CF of Ultratech Cement. Uh, what do you make of uh, the details as of now? Uh, see, the final deal uh, that has been, as you have said, is, has been, there have been minor changes. I'm yet to see the final deal. Uh, but however, what uh, I uh, take from the revised deal is that only one plant uh, from the Karnataka has been dropped in. And I believe uh, that it might have come to the mind of management that the utilization level in the south is still on a lower side. And it's not a bad move to drop that deal. And despite uh, this, uh, I believe that uh, uh, even if uh, this... Uh, 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 current deal uh, is valued at $130 roughly per ton, which is a fair deal that uh, Ultratech management is uh, gaining. And more important, so the uh, primary assets in the uh, Satna cluster and the northern market is still, I mean, uh, going, to, going through in the like, you know, portfolio of Ultratech. And that's a quite a very positive move because the Ultratech was not present in the Satna cluster and uh, even in the Andhra, uh, as uh, it was mentioned earlier. So it definitely uh, makes up the uh, certain geographies where uh, it was not present. So definitely, I believe that uh, uh, this should allow Ultratech in a more, pri I mean, firm pricing going ahead. And also, I believe that this should allow more and uh, transparent as well as uh, I, I would say that you know uh, stability in the pricing trend going ahead. And we will not see that kind of volatility as we used to see earlier. So I believe that it's a definitely a very good move for Ultratech. In fact, as as in fact. Point taken, Siddharth. In fact, we also have Sudeep Bandapadhyay with us. Uh, Sudeep, clearly one of the biggest landmark deals that has now been formally announced. There's a definitive agreement in place and of course that will come as good news to the bankers because JP Group has a big, big debt burden of about 75,000 crore rupees. What do you make of uh, the commentary till now? I think uh, what you said is absolutely correct. This is definitely a landmark deal. Uh, yes, from the JP Group's perspective and the, their lenders, I think it's a, it's a good news at the end of the year. About 16,000, 15,900 crore, which they get out of the deal, I think definitely will go uh, a, a long way towards reducing their debt. Uh, from an Ultratech perspective, I think, uh, uh, again, excellent uh, transaction. The capacity goes up to 90 uh, metric ton, 90 million tons. Uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good news. Uh, and dropping Karnatak, which I understand they have now dropped and reduced the price to 15,900 as opposed to 16,500, which was agreed earlier, again, I think uh, is, a, is a prudent step. We'll have to watch and see how the CCI, uh, you know, takes it and how how fast or what what conditions, if at all, CCI imposes while approving the transaction. All right. So there you have it. The 360 degree viewpoint, the market viewpoint uh, from both are experts on the show. Thank you so much, gentlemen. But let's shift back now and go back yet again to that exclusive interaction which I just had minutes back with the CFO of Ultratech Cement, minutes after that board meeting. And he, of course, explaining the deal rationale and the benefits for Ultratech shareholders. This is a big, big ET Now exclusive for you on a day when two people in the cement sector, two big entities, have signed perhaps the most landmark deal in the cement sector. Yes, hi. Uh, first and foremost, 